Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 news update. It's going to be a short one today. I don't have anything really huge to share. Just some tweets by Pete Hines where he sort of clarifies some things and hints at some other things. And I thought they were worth mentioning. Gotta keep the Fallout 76 hype train rolling, right? <laughs> So first off, Pete Hines may have answered a concern I myself had, and that is, will other people know who you are when you're playing the game? Like for instance, if I were in the game, and let's say my gamer tag was something easily recognizable by you guys, like Wasteland Dovahkiin, right? All you guys would see me whenever I'm on, and chances are I would never be able to play by myself, you know? So I always had that concern and have been wondering how I deal with that. Well, in response to a rather passive aggressive tweet where someone seems to think that Pete Hines couldn't possibly know what it's like to play Fallout 76 with grievers since everyone would know who he is and would treat him with respect, Pete Hines says, I make up names each time we play. I don't know how anyone else would know who I am. I never tell anyone the character name I'm playing. So it sounds like that means that when you're in the game, you won't be able to see the names of other players, like their gamer tags, and will only be able to see their character names, you know, what they decided to name that particular character that they're playing. At least that's what it sounds like, and I hope that's true, and I hope that's not just a thing they're doing for their testing and that it actually stays that way at launch, because that would save me a huge headache, you know, for one, <laughs> when it comes to interacting with people or just playing by myself. I would definitely like the ability to remain incognito if I want to, you know? And I'm sure that there are a lot of other people out there who would as well. So I just thought I'd share that bit of info as it was quite interesting to me. What do you guys think about that? Moving on, in another tweet, someone asks, we're going to have to find recipes to craft stuff. How hard is it in the current build to get a recipe? And Pete Hines answers with, you start with some default recipes you already know. I couldn't define how often you find new ones. This is nothing huge, but I just thought it was interesting. It looks like we won't have to find recipes for everything and we'll be able to craft some stuff right out of the vault. He didn't specify what kinds of recipes, whether they're just food or also for weapons and armor or chems and whatnot. And the fact that he can't really say how often you find new ones makes me think that it's probably random. Perhaps you find new recipes as loot from creature kills or as random loot from containers, and you can't really define how often that might occur. It would be a percentage chance, most likely, with possibly a variable as well. So one player may find them quite often, sometimes, and while others may rarely find them. Uh, they could also be hand-placed in the world, and yet your chances of finding them would be based on your own frequency and distance of exploration. So well, people who explore all the time are, le are more likely to find them than, than if you, you know, stuck to building camps and staying in close, cor close by areas, you know, maybe if you're a little timid at first, you might not find things as often as other people. Of course, once you find one, you may be able to sell them to other players, so perhaps that could also be a way for you to find them by buying them from others, and that is, of course, a random chance to do that as well. Anyway, it's just a little interesting tidbit there I thought I'd mention. In another tweet, someone asks, in regards to making a squad, do you do it in-game or in the menu? To which Pete answers, in-game. You can see it in one of the videos when they're chatting via emojis. And this is true, actually. I had I had never paid close attention to it before, to tell you the truth. Uh, probably some of you have. Probably a lot of you have, but I hadn't. Um, but there is an icon in the conversation wheel that seems to represent adding players to your group. So you basically just walk up to another player in the game, point at them, and add them via the conversation wheel. Pretty simple. So concerning the beta release, someone on Twitter asks, I want to know, will there be warning a few days before the beta is announced? And Pete answers, you will have plenty of notice before it happens. So never fear all you out there who have signed up for the beta, me included. They are not just going to drop it in our laps out of the blue. They'll be notifying us when it will actually be released so we can be ready for it. 
you know, so you can take the day off from work or postpone that trip a few more weeks, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm actually personally very happy to hear this since I'm going on a trip this week and was thinking it would just be my luck to be on a trip 200 miles from my computer when the beta drops and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> that totally would happen to me. <laughs> At least I know that it probably won't happen and I can plan things accordingly. But when will we hear information about the beta release or just any other news in general? In a tweet to Pete Hines on July 20th, someone asks, If Fallout 76 will not have human NPCs, why is there a charisma stat in the game? If it stays in there, what will it be used for? Man, I've actually seen a lot of people asking this question, um, but Pete Hines answers, Stay tuned. Gonna be more info on character systems and things like that. And then someone else asks, When? The silence is making me go insane. Right? <laughs> and Pete answers, QuakeCon's not far off. So, for those of you who don't know, QuakeCon is a huge annual gaming convention where thousands of gamers come together for tournaments, workshops, exhibits, all kinds of stuff. But it's also where Bethesda gives sneak peeks and information about their upcoming games. And so Pete has basically said that they will be giving us a bunch more info about Fallout 76 at QuakeCon, which is going on from August 9th through the 12th. So not very far away at all. And he said that specifically we'll be seeing more stuff about the character system. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they tell us. I hope we get to see more gameplay and actual demonstrations of gameplay rather than just seeing a few clips all strung together like at E3. But this could also be when they're announcing the beta release. That's just my speculation, of course, but I think it kind of makes sense that they do it then. And this is probably where a lot of people are getting this idea that we'll know when the beta is released around sometime in August because of QuakeCon. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. So I made this video last night and had it uploaded on YouTube with a published time of 1 o'clock this afternoon Pacific time. And then of course I woke up this morning with a brand new announcement from Bethesda. Thank you Bethesda! <laughs> anyway, so instead of making a whole new video about it, I decided to just add it on to the end of this one. So this morning, Bethesda posted on the Fallout Community General Discussion Forums on Bethesda.net with an announcement about when the beta will actually release. Starting in October, we'll be selecting people who have pre-ordered the game from a participating retailer to enter our beta. We'll start small and grow over time as we prepare for launch. Be sure you've read our frequently asked questions for details on how to redeem your beta code, blah blah blah. Um, and be, they added an edit because some people complained and thought that that meant that only certain people who had pre-ordered would be selected for the beta, but that's not what they meant. They edited to clarify everyone who pre-orders at a participating retailer will be included in the beta. So everyone will be included in the beta who pre-ordered the game. They're just going to be adding people gradually just not all on the same day probably, maybe just a little bit at a time, but everybody will be included in the beta. Beyond that, we know you have numerous questions about the game, things are still changing and being iterated on, so we cannot answer everything yet, but we encourage you to submit your questions. During the Fallout 76 panel at QuakeCon, we'll be answering some of your questions like I, I, I thought they would be doing stuff at QuakeCon. And of course, you can go watch the panel at QuakeCon on Mixer. The Bethesda panel will be live streaming on Saturday, August 11th at 11 a.m. Central Time. Todd Howard and others from Bethesda Game Studios will take fans through a deeper dive into character systems and perks coming in Fallout 76, followed by a Q&A with the team to address fans' most pressing questions. And that is taken directly from the event schedule on the QuakeCon website. I'll leave all the links in the description below if you'd like to check them out. So the beta will be released in October. They haven't said exactly when in October, but I'm sure they will specify that at QuakeCon. Also, in a tweet this morning, Bethesda said once again that the beta will be released first on Xbox, then PS4, then PC. 
Now, I've already seen a lot of people complaining about an October release for the beta, thinking that won't leave Bethesda enough time to fix issues by the November official release. But I think those people are expecting the game to be fully finished and polished by November, and that's just not how it's going to be. Bethesda has said numerous times that they will be continuing to update the game monthly, even after release. The beta is probably just to get some main things worked out to make sure all the public aspects of the game are working, such as accessing servers, logging in, joining up with other players, and so forth. Things like that. Things they can't really test until the game is actually live with actual players playing it. I'm pretty sure they're not going to try to fix every single issue or fine-tune every single gameplay aspect before the official launch in November. I think it's actually impossible for an online game to do that, especially one that plans on evolving over time anyway. So if you thought that's what the beta was for, then you've had your expectations in the wrong place, probably. Anyway, you guys, that is all the new information I have to share at this time. Let me know what you think down in the comments. What do you think about the beta being released in October? Are you excited? Disappointed? What do you think about the rest of the information I shared in this video? Let us know down below. Um, leave a like if you liked this video and subscribe if you haven't already for more Fallout 76 and Fallout 4 content. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by following the links in the description to my Patreon page or my coffee page. You can also find links to my social media as well if you'd like to follow me there. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye.